All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 100. So I'm going to first start by taking the natural log, or ln, on both sides. So I have ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 100. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. So for ln x to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and I'm going to get x times ln x is equal to ln 100. Now ln 100, that's the same thing as ln of 10 squared. So I get x times ln x is equal to ln 10 squared. And if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, again, I can move 2 to the front. So I get x times ln x is equal to 2 times ln 10. Now, there is something called the W Lambert function. And if I take the W Lambert function of something in the form e to the power of, sorry, a times e to the power of a, this is going to equal a. So this is basically what the W Lambert function is. So if there's something in the form a to the power, a times e to the power of a, that's going to equal a. So what I want to do over here is... I'm going to rewrite x here as e to the power of ln of x because the e and ln cancel out and this results in simply x. So I'm just going to rewrite x as e to the power of ln of x and I have this times ln x is equal to 2 times ln 10. And now this is in the form a times e to the power of a. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, This results in ln x equaling w of 2 times ln 10. And now if I take e to the power of both sides, I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of 2 ln 10. And e to the power of ln x, that's going to equal x. So I get x is equal to e to the power of w of 2 times ln 10. And this is equal to 3.597285, which rounds up to 3.597. So this is my answer to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2x plus x to the power of x is equal to 20. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 2x as x to the power of x to the power of 2. And I can do this because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now... I'm going to let the variable y equal x to the power of x. So now I have y squared plus y is equal to 20. Now from here, I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And I'll be left with y squared plus y minus 20 is equal to 0. Now, y over here, I can rewrite this as 5y minus 4y. And now, the reason I did this is because I can factor by grouping. So for y squared plus 5y, I'm going to factor out y. So now I have y times y plus 5. And from negative 4y minus 20, I'm going to factor out negative 4. So I have negative 4 times y plus 5. Now from the entire equation, I'm going to factor out y plus 5. So now I have y plus 5 times y minus 4 
is equal to zero. So this actually gives me two equations. I get y plus five is equal to zero, and I get y minus four is equal to zero. So y minus four equals zero, y is equal to four, and for y plus five equals zero, y equals negative five. Now, because this is negative, this is not possible because notice how y is equal to x to the power of x. So you can't take the power of a negative number and make it positive. So I get four is equal to x to the power of x. And we have to find a number that works out for this. Well, the only number that is small enough is two. So x equals two because two to the power of two is four. So two is my answer to this equation. All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus one plus four to the power of x plus two is equal to 64. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start by using the property of exponents that says that if I have something from a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So four to the power of x plus one, that's gonna equal four to the power of, four to the power of x times four to the power of one. And four to the power of x plus two, that's gonna equal four to the power of x times four to the power of two. Now this is equal to 64. Now from here, I'm gonna factor out four to the power of x. So I get four to the power of x times one plus four plus four squared. And four squared is 64, so I get, or sorry, 16. So I get four to the power of x times one plus four plus 16. Now one plus four is five and five plus 16 is 21. So I get four to the power of x times 21 is equal to 64. And now if I divide both sides by 21, I get four to the power of x is equal to 64 divided by 21. Now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log four to the power of x is equal to log 64 over 21. So if I have something to form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's gonna equal b times log a. So log four to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So I get x times log four is equal to log 64 over 21. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 64 over 21, that's gonna equal log 64 minus log 21. And now I'm gonna divide both sides by log four. So I get X is equal to log 64 minus log 21 over log four. 